They may be annoying, and no one loves getting one of those surprise traffic tickets in the mail, but a new study out this morning finds that red light cameras are saving lives. Lisa Stark has the details from Washington. This is what can happen when a driver runs a red light. It is extremely dangerous. In 2009, red light running killed 676 people and injured over 100,000. When this car ignores the red, it hits an SUV which rolls right onto a pedestrian. Miraculously, he survived. Three-year-old Marcus May Cook was not so lucky. The car he was riding in was hit broadside by an unlicensed 17-year-old who blew through the light. Marcus died two days later. Nothing will ever be the same now um, that we don't have Marcus here. And, and it was all because of, uh, you know, a bad decision that a driver made. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety has found fatal intersection crashes can be dramatically reduced with red light cameras. Drivers stop rather than risk a ticket. People are more aware that the law is being enforced and that makes them more likely to stop. The Institute compared fatal accidents in 14 cities with cameras to those without. The cameras cut fatal red light running crashes by 24 percent, even had a spillover effect at other intersections, saving 159 lives. The Institute says if every large city had had the cameras, 815 deaths would have been avoided. It's really been a very significant safety benefit. Red light cameras sound good, but they're not good for you. But opponents point to other studies, which found, yes, the cameras decrease this type of crash, but can increase rear-end accidents when drivers slam on brakes to avoid the red light ticket. Motorists don't like them. They feel that they're unfair and sometimes can cause an accident. Now, the cameras do remain controversial, and some say cities really like them because they bring in lots of money from tickets. In Houston recently, for example, the residents there voted to turn the cameras off. George, this study this morning will no doubt add to the ongoing debate. But that is a lot of evidence there. Okay, Lisa, thanks very much.